Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, June 12th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time USA and 7 a.m. Pacific Time USA. I think it's 3 p.m. Western European Time UTC. Universal Coordinated Time, and I think it's 7.30 p.m. India time. Please join this open conversation if you're interested with your questions and thoughts and ideas in the future. I'm Scott McLeod. I'm the presiding clerk of MIT OpenCourseWare-centric World University and School. It's president and head as well. And as we wait to see if people will join us in this open conversation time on Mondays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time USA, I'd like to share a little news with you about recent developments. And in reaching out, especially um, to uh, Bill Gates and Alden Briscoe of Brakeley Briscoe and Stanford, Law Codex, Executive Director Roland Vogel, and Universitians for a World University and School Chairman of the Board or Chair of the Board uh, first. So, one, um, World University and School uh, is proceeding with accreditation uh, with the Middle States. Commission on Higher Education with offices in the greater Philadelphia area, having received the green light from them, uh, and also having in January of 2023 received authorization from the state of Pennsylvania's Department of Education to proceed with licensure. Uh, and that would be via, I think, uh, the Middle States Commission on Higher Education um, accreditation processes, next steps. Uh, we'll get to that in another agenda item in a few minutes. Uh, but agenda item two, um, so this is reaching out to Stanford Law Codex Executive Director Roland Vogel, who uh, directs the Thursday uh, Stanford Law Codex presentations as well as much as else um in Stanford Law Codex to inquire if uh, he would join the WUAS board and possibly to become the chair of the board. If, for example, Bill Gates, uh, who I've also invited to this position uh, last week and maybe the week before, were to write that WUAS could include him as a WUAS trustee on the Wiki World University uh, Foundation page, but that he wasn't um, uh, going to become, for example, the chair of the board, Bill Gates, that is. So could Roland join uh, the WS board and become uh, the chair of the board, potentially? It was in Stanford Law Codex in 2017, and a presentation uh, that Roland facilitated uh, with Tom Martin, a uh, lawyer uh, who had developed LawDroid, that uh, our second WUAS wing uh, wrote our articles in corporation for this in less than 10 minutes with a uh, chatbot AI program that Tom Martin had developed. And uh, as a consequence, thanks to Stanford Law Codex and Roland Vogel, uh, World University and School WUAS has these two wings, a nonprofit on the one hand, building out of uh, MIT OpenCourseWare um, open courses in English, and uh, on the other hand, a um, for-profit general stock company legal entity in the state of California. There are remarkable synergies between um, both wings planned at World University and School in 200 countries and in 
all known living languages, uh, up to 7,168 known living languages, I just noticed uh, from the Ethnologue with their recent 25th or 23rd edition published in 2023. Um, so item 2A, uh, Roland Vogel, would uh, you possibly be able to become the chair of the board? I see from your Stanford Law um, biography, bio, uh, for Roland Vogel that uh, you haven't been the chairman of a board yet. You've been on a number of other boards. Um, could you possibly become, please, the WS chair of the board? That would be really wonderful if you could. Item 2B. Um, and uh, also to other Stanford Law Codex presenters from just last Thursday, around June 8th, um, the presenters being Gorsha Sur with Kirill Igumanenshev and uh, the other presenter in the first half of Stanford Law Codex last Thursday was Anthony uh, Noves. Um, thank you all, Gorsha, Kirill, and Anthony, for your excellent Stanford Law Codex presentations last week. Uh, and would you be able to possibly become uh, board members at World University and School? Uh, item 2B, in doing so, Gorsha and Kirill and Anthony, might you potentially also seek to develop MIT OpenCourseWare-centric wiki world university and school in the countries you are from and in their main languages for free online MIT OpenCourseWare-centric bachelor, PhD, law, MD, IB high school or similar, AA and master's degrees. And you can get to these emerging universities at World University and School for these countries that you're from in the nation states, uh, main wiki page and languages that you are your first languages in the uh, WS languages wiki page. So this would include, for example, with Anthony Noveus, um, potentially creating a Brazil law school. Uh, one of 200 planned online law schools planned in Portuguese uh, from the wiki Portuguese language subject page uh, that would again be in Portuguese, current Portuguese language wiki subject pages in English, and for Brazil, World University and School, a huge country of something like 214 million people. Uh, and in terms of Russia, uh, Kirill, um, could you possibly become, as a board member, uh, a head or lead in growing Russia World University and School in the World University and School Russian Federation wiki page right now or from that, but potentially we would create a Russia World University and School uh, wiki subject page planned in Russian and go to the Russian language wiki uh, presently, which is in English, but which is planned in Russian. And Gorsha Sur, would you be able to become, please, the, uh, the lead of Sweden, WUAS, and potentially as a board member uh, at World University and School? and uh, developing the Sweden World University and School, and there's a Sweden uh, beginning World University and School in English so far, uh, with just a few MIT OpenCourseWare courses uh, in English as well. I don't know of any uh, Swedish translations of MIT OpenCourseWare. And uh, this Sweden World University and School would be in the Swedish language and the Swedish language wiki subject page in Swedish would be emerging from World University and Schools Languages page. And Gorsha also happens to be a lawyer uh, who is in the state of California's bar as well. 
thank you for your great presentations on um, Thursday, uh, Gorsha, Anthony, and Kiro, and looking forward to being in touch uh, further with you, Roland, especially, uh, and potentially in your joining the uh, World University and School Board to make free MIT open course for eccentric degrees available in Brazil, in Russia, in Sweden, uh, in the US, potentially in Austria, since uh, Roland is from Austria, uh, in German, for example. Uh, this would be a great opportunity uh, to gain further board experience. Anthony, uh, Carol, and Gorsha, uh, you may already have some board of directors, board of trustees experience, but this is, uh, there's a lot of creative potential here. Uh, so please, uh, let's communicate further about this. Um, agenda item three, let me just check if people are seeking to join us and I'm gonna add the World University and School, uh, this WS uh, June 12th, 2023, recording to the YouTube channel, the active YouTube channel for World University and School presently, which is youtube.com forward slash um, Scott McLeod World University slash videos. Um, agenda item three, uh, Middle States Commission on Higher Education. Um, in brief and partly in uh, seeking to develop a an active board of directors, active board of trustees at World University and School. WUAS needs money and a business plan, financial plan, regarding the next WS steps in accreditation with Middle States Commission on Higher Education with offices in the greater Philadelphia area. This is out of our communication, our WUAS communication with Connie Clifton, our representative, uh, our contact at Middle States Commission on Higher Education. Um, so this business plan and financial plan and also the initial monies to pay the fees uh, at Middle States Commission on Higher Education for pre-application, for application uh, to become accredited and to pay the fees for the state of Pennsylvania's Department of Education licensure process are all part of this. Thank you. Uh, item four, uh, this is changing uh, the focus quite a lot here in these in this WS News and Question and Answer. Uh, the Harvard and MIT professor of genetics, George Church in the Harvard Medical School has been heralding uh, aging reversal genetic drug therapies and longevity genetic drug therapies and the potential for aging reversal and longevity uh, genetics. And in one video um, in recent years on his theory of aging, and the link you can see in the WS News question and answer for 612.23 to this video, you can watch the video. Uh, at about eight minutes, into the video, he suggests that um, this research, aging reversal research, points to uh, immortality, but it doesn't necessarily lead to it. Um, and what does George Church here mean by immortality? So there's a longevity wiki subject page at World University and School in English so far, available from the mains. Uh, World University and School subjects page. Um, and I just created uh, about three tweets coming in conversation with this uh, question of what does George Church mean by immortality? And uh, in one tweet uh, over the weekend, I uh, asked this in terms of um, modeling this digitally in terms of Google Street View and Google Cell View and Google Molecule View with Time Slider, both of which would probably have to be further created significantly by Google and Alphabet 
Google Cell View and Google Molecule View with uh, interoperable with Google Street View, I shared uh, some pictures of molecules from Princeton Engineering um, and some videos of cells uh, from Harvard's um, uh, Gazette from 2018 um, and some street view images of mice uh, that had been prematurely aged genetically from a Harvard Medical School Harvard edu um, article, and that is that's the question: How could um, possibly World University and School facilitate adding coding for immortality? Uh, Harvard and MIT professor of George Church into Google Street View, Google Cell View, Google Molecule View with Time Slider with um, these pictures of molecules from Princeton and these videos of cells from Harvard and these street view images of mice before and after they had been prematurely aged with genetic engineering, potentially also extending their lifespans. Um, how could we code for immortality in Google Street View with Time Slider? So agenda item 4B, uh, again, immortality. What data to draw from? How much individuals' data with film to three apps in the WS medical schools, for example, and how much Homo sapiens species data uh, that might be uh, more general, molecular, cellular, street view um, in structured knowledge databases already available, available uh, online. How much individual data with film to 3D apps that have yet to be created, and how much Homo sapiens species data for aging reversal longevity, genetic therapies, for example. And what does George Church again mean by uh, immortality at eight minutes in this video uh, that he created as an interview uh, in Google Street View, Google Cell View, Google Molecule View with Time Slider. And the video uh, that George Church uh, did about two years ago, perhaps in 2020, is titled My Theory and the Future of Aging, Professor George Church Interview Series, Episode 1. Uh, check it out. So item 4C is... Uh, Further, what data to draw from? And for example, for immortality, physical, digital, street view, avatar bot, electronic medical records. And think little Pegman in Google Street View with Time Slider, becoming an avatar bot, bot electronic medical record for you and I, and for all kinds of things. Uh, for surgery, for genetic engineering, for genetic editing, and how much data to use Stardazed Zero, which is Viren Jane's Twitter feed, who's a Google researcher developing uh, health approaches to data in these areas. How much data to use Viren Jane at Stardazed Zero from an individual's data with film to 3D apps and how much Homo sapiens species data and to inform what aging reversal longevity genes to add to people's body minds. So this question is a lot on the virtual side, but creating such physical digital street view avatar bot electronic medical records on the digital or virtual side would potentially allow us to then uh, 
either upload or uh, inform the physical side of individuals, body minds, um, potentially adding genes back, making a record of them in these avatar bot electronic medical records, um, and also potentially engineering things on the digital side, adding genes in on the digital side that could then perhaps be even injected with vaccines into your and my body for aging reversal and longevity genetics and toward immortality. What does that mean for George Church? So item four, uh, 4D is um, how could uh, these pictures of molecules and videos of cells and street view images um, of mice all become interoperable in something like Google Street View, Google Cell View, Google Molecule View with Time Slider. Uh, check out the video. It's in today's blog, in my blog, scott-mcleod.blogspot.com, Apple Blossom, Cassia Javanica, and I'll put it in the World University and School blog for today as well. And Veer and Jane at Stardazed Zero share some gorgeous data from the Janalia um, uh, laboratory, focusing on some of these questions as well, modeling connectomes of Drosophila flies, for example, um, and similar digital modeling. Uh, so, a few months ago last year, uh, in asking these questions in a slightly different way um, and regarding genes and immortality, uh, what does an eternal human living forever mean? Could it mean one million years ahead for a single organism, for a single body mind? Uh, and the tweet I the set of tweets I created were um, immortality question mark, and this is regarding John Cleese, the brilliant uh, comic of Monty Python and Faulty Towers uh, fame uh, from the seven nineteen seventies and nineteen eighties, and uh, still very funny on Twitter today. The Twitter posts. Read Immortality. Check out the recording of John Cleese. I am wondering what Harvard and MIT professor of genetics George Church means by immortality at eight minutes to his video interview on My Theory of Aging. And at Pipe Major Stuart Little, a virtuosic piper in Scotland, and regarding even piping genes, bagpiping genes, for an eternal human living forever at one million years. And John Cleese said, uh, perhaps commenting on this, um, these Twitter posts written uh, humorously, I will also be revealing the secret of immortality unless I die first. Um, and he posted this on March 3rd, 2022. I may have been coming in communication with him the other way around. Um, this would be, uh, let's see how George Church uh, further heralds and facilitates um, successful aging reversal genetic drug therapies developments and longevity genetic drug therapies developments. And post the coronavirus pandemic of about two and a half years from about March 2020 through the middle of 2022, early 2023. Uh, and that in a short 11 months from about March 2020 forward, we created a, in remarkably quick time a vaccine against SARS-CoV-2 
uh, it could have implications for aging reversal genetics, for longevity genetics, and for even these questions of the immortality word, which George Church raises. Uh, so item five um, about robotics and WUAS home robotics and for free MIT open courseware centric world university and school STEAM degrees from home, science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, degrees from home. And also that the WS Corporation is an authorized carrier of three Lego robotics kits at worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academic press. And we've recently gotten an email from them possibly about how to order such kits when we get the money together to be able to start our uh, physical digital stores, potentially around Lego Robotics. Um, and also regarding a Lego Robotics from MIT OpenCourseWare course called Lego Robotics that was taught in the spring of 2007. Uh, Item 5A, uh, there, here's a homemade gorilla robot and video, um, WS Home Robotics hire primate robot that walks, vocalizes, or snores, and eats bananas um, that I made from some videos and programmed with the Scratch programming language. Uh, check it out. It's um, this... I made it with the We Do 2.0 Lego Robotics Kit, which I have, and which is um, now actually retired. Uh, but it's a remarkable set of developments that I can create a primate robot out of a Lego Robotics Kit like We Do 2.0. Um, and program it with the Scratch programming language out of MIT and, Stan and, and Harvard, uh, Harvard's Graduate School of Education. Um, these are interesting times. Lego Spike Prime Robotics Kit, I think, is the active one. Uh, the, a main uh, Lego robotics kit these days, Mindstorms EV3, has been retired as well. Um, and uh, in these regards, um, item 5B, uh, this is a tweet to Craig Morrow, who is the M-O-R-R-O-W, who is the visionary creator of Bicycle Heaven Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is also a bike shop um, and a, a, a very, uh, it's a joy to visit. <laughs> it's a, it's a fascinating. <laughs> Check it out in Pittsburgh. You can visit it only a tiny bit online. Hopefully that will grow. So this tweet uh, reads, Craig Morrow, Bicycle Heaven Museum, Pittsburgh, PA of Bicycle Robot. Um, I just made from WUAS Lego Robotics Kit, we do 2.0, a bicycle robot and it runs. Um, so make, made a new bicycle robot. Uh, from We Do 2.0 from a YouTube video. But the video is titled, um, I think it's made by Shah Goof or something like that. And I don't think it quite works out in the end in the same way that the Gorilla Robot videos uh, were very well conceived and um, well thought out for the programming aspect too. But here is a bicycle robot picture of it that I made, which runs. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, it will be possible to uh, make such bicycle robots in a way that Craig Morrow could um, possibly add them to his museum, if only virtually, since I think he may be uh, running out a little bit of space. It's the largest bicycle transportation museum, I think, in the world. Um, that he has in Pittsburgh, on the north side of Pittsburgh. Uh, so here are two fascinating robots uh, made at home. This gorilla robot and this bicycle robot. Bicycle robot should be programmable with the Scratch programming language. 
the block program, no, sorry, with the, with the Lego robotics, we do 2.0 Lego block programming language. Stay tuned. Um, hoping that Craig Morrow can also begin to possibly collect some of these robot bicycles, if only by people such as myself, adding them to a realistic virtual earth for museums, a realistic virtual bicycle museum heaven, for example, in something like Google Street View with Time Slider, um, Google Maps as videos first or pictures first, and then begin to build with Lego in Google Street View eventually, and Lego build with Lego robotics in Google Street View. Um, so what is a robot? Um, it's especially, especially in science fiction, it's a machine resembling a human being and able to replicate certain human movements and functions automatically. And an example of this, uh, a sentence might be, the robot closed the door behind us, suggesting how the robot is uh, like a human being and able to do human functions. And another definition of robot is a type of automated machine that can execute specific tasks with little or no human intervention and with speed and precision. These will be aspects that are matriculating world university and school students, possibly on engineering tracks for their free MIT open centric degrees from home in say engineering degrees at the bachelor level or engineering degrees at the master's degree level or engineering degrees at the PhD level, WES home robotics tracks, um, will begin to explore in what I hope will be a very extensive set of programs, uh, WS Home Robotics in all 200 countries and in their main languages. So item six, um, regarding Stanford Mind Pi, cryptocurrency, and partnering with uh, World University and School, which we've received a partnering letter from Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency and World University and School planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number, and at wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash you at World University and School, and to both end poverty and create free universal education between wiki teachers, people to people teaching um, among speakers of all 7,168 known living languages, and also potentially to create a single main cryptocurrency in all 200 countries and for speakers of all 7,168 known living languages, and perhaps in the process uh, making smartphones available to all with uh, also electrical systems that could power these smartphones and thus to end poverty that way. Um, and how could such Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency be used even for molecule and cell science and in a realistic virtual earth for genetics? Uh, so I am sending you Pi so you can get free Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, free money daily, uh, with this invitation uh, code from this URL mindpi.com forward slash sgkmac m-i-n-e-p-i dot c-o-m forward slash s-g-k-m-a-c download the app to your smartphone and begin mining every 24 hours okay. click two buttons it takes less than five seconds get five to six pi coins every 24 hours they accumulate uh I have now about 5,500 Pi coins accumulated. Um, and I think eventually, as they continue to accumulate with their algorithms towards Pi infinity, um, I think we will also become able to eventually uh, buy and sell 
exchange goods with Stanford MindPy, potentially as a main cryptocurrency. So to close, let me just check if people are seeking to join us. Um, don't see anyone. Um, agenda item seven, um, this upcoming Saturday is the World University and School WUAS monthly business meeting. It's open, it's an hour. It's at 12 noon Eastern time, USA, Canada. It's at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I think that's 5 p.m. in Western European time. And I think that's 9.30 p.m. India time. If you're interested in another time zone, check your time converter uh, and please join. Help create this online world university in school that's MIT open courseware centric for free degrees. We're seeking potentially to hire, employ 2.5 million people uh, by in 50 or 75 years. Uh, come join the party. Come help grow world university in school. There's, for example, in the wiki subjects page, there's a lot of low hanging fruit. You could create an academic department in your language, in your country, out of the academic wiki subjects right now. That would be a opportunity many people would jump at. Uh, we hope to hire uh, after we begin the accreditation process. Stay tuned. And next Monday is the next WS News and Question and Answer on June 19th, 2023 at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Western European Time. I think it's 7.30 p.m. India Time, but check your time converter. Uh, so that's the news I'd like to share with you. Uh, as a PS to today's agenda, I added a letter I shared with uh, Roland Vogel and Gorsha Shah and Anthony Noves and Kirill Igomenchev uh, and regarding the 200 online law schools I World University and School is seeking to develop in 200 countries universities in their main languages. Uh, check this out. It'll be on both blogs. Uh, check out the World University and School blogspot.com blog. Uh, bye for now. I'll post the recording also to Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Twitter, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. If you know of students who might be interested in free degrees, we're continuing to seek to begin to matriculate students this September 1, uh, 2023. They could begin now by taking the CS First with Google at World University and School course learning the Scratch programming language at World University and School at meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org no, which is also our main homepage at this point, worlduniversityandschool.org. Bye for now.